Uh, so while, uh, while everybody's finishing their preparation, I think you folks know most, but maybe not everyone here, uh, John Applegate is uh, uh, in charge of regional campuses, loosely speaking, for IU, uh, major part of what we're going to talk about today. You know Teresa, the Commissioner of Higher Ed. You know Stan Jones, but I want to make sure you know him as in his current incarnation. After a long, distinguished public career in Indiana, he's the president of Complete, of Complete College America. America, which is an organization, um, uh, as its title suggests, uh, devoted to this topic of this morning's uh, announcement and really uh, to the one of the single biggest problems or opportunities facing our state, Tom Snyder from Ivy Tech, you know. So gather in, everyone, since you're all better looking, <laughs> you're all better looking than I am, so we want you in the picture. Um, I'm just going to say a word or two by way of preface, uh, and then Stan will uh, explain specifically the news of the day. Teresa will say a word or two on, about uh, what it means here on the receiving end. Um, now, first of all, uh, I've said so many times, the uh, single biggest challenge and therefore opportunity in terms of the jobs future of this state is, is, the, our short, is to address our shortfall in post-secondary education, uh, college or other uh, learning after um, what we hope will be a much stronger high school experience for future Hoosiers. And we trail very badly other states, and we're doing as many things as we can think of to catch up quickly, WGU Indiana being a, uh, one such example. And um, uh, today we're very thrilled that Indiana has been selected among a, a few states for uh, uh, support of our efforts to try to help more Hoosiers uh, move on past high school and move to a successful, and that's to say a complete college or other post-secondary experience. And uh, to explain uh, the next long step forward in this really important uh, uh, March, uh, let me introduce Stan Jones. Thank you, Governor, and congratulations uh, to the state of Indiana. Um, Complete College America is very pleased to uh, make this award of $1 million uh, to the state of Indiana uh, for the initiative. Uh, it's, uh, the million dollars is always important, uh, but it really is, a, I think, a recognition or a validation of the path that Indiana's on uh, in tackling uh, this very important issue of having more students graduate from college uh, and raising the education level of the workforce in the state of Indiana. There were 33 states that applied for the grant. Uh, it was very uh, strong competition. Uh, only 10 were selected. Uh, we had an advisory committee of 10 members. Uh, Indiana was one of three states that uh, was selected unanimously. Um, so it's really a testimony that it was a very, very strong uh, application. Uh, why are we here? Um, to pick up on what the governor said, uh, if you look across the country uh, in this recession, uh, I think one of the untold stories is that people aren't buying houses, they're not buying cars, but what they are doing is they're buying education. And we across this country have record enrollment, including in Indiana, uh, at community colleges like Ivy Tech uh, Community College. There's record enrollment, uh, double-digit enrollment year over year. And what does this mean? It means that people have chosen uh, in this difficult economic time to place their bet on higher education to take time from their family and from their jobs and what little money they have um, to place a bet on higher education as their way to steer through this economic uh, uncertainty. And we have a responsibility, uh, having accepted those students, uh, to ensure uh, that they can achieve the objectives they set out to. And you might ask, um, how is that working across the country? Um, even though we have record enrollment, uh, we are not seeing the kinds of numbers at graduation day that we'd like to see. Uh, students that start for a four-year program, uh, only about half complete, not in four years, but in six years, only about a quarter complete in four years. Those that start two-year programs, uh, only about 25 uh, percent complete in three years. And this is true across the country, and it's true in Indiana. Uh, one of the biggest hurdles is remediation. Uh, Sixty percent of all students that start at community colleges start in remedial classes, math and English. Uh, probably more stunning and stunned me when I found this out. 
uh, 60 percent of those that graduated from high school in the spring and walked across to the community college start in remedial classes as well. And at many of the regional institutions in the state, uh, as many as 30 or 40 percent uh, need some kind of refresher course. Um, sometimes they have to go back and get it from Ivy Tech. Um, so the challenge is there, and many of these students never graduate, uh, never get a certificate, um, walk away with some college and a lot of debt. Uh, so that's the challenge. It also takes too long. Across the country in Indiana, it takes twice as long, four years, to get a two-year degree. Um, this proposal is targeted at increasing graduation rates, at reducing the amount of time that it takes to get a degree, uh, and effectively restructuring remediation. You know, most governors, when presented this kind of data, um, may turn to their commissioner, Teresa Lubbers, and say, this is actually your problem. I've got a state to run. Uh, but I think Governor Daniels, knowing Governor Daniels, I think he gets up in the morning and looks for a challenge. I know he does. Uh, and this certainly is a challenge that, that, that begs uh, a lot of energy and a lot of leadership. Uh, and the state has demonstrated this, um, that I uh, was uh, fortunate to be here the, the first year that governor was in office. And when community college legally became, uh, Ivy Tech legally became the community college for the state of Indiana. And that was significant. Uh, in the intervening years, uh, the state changed how they fund, started to change how they funded higher education. Uh, rather than paying for students that just showed up, uh, they're paying for results, students that actually graduated. Uh, and finally, in the last year, uh, WGU was launched, uh, which is a significant enterprise, um, unique in the country, uh, and, and really providing an opportunity for, for people that uh, need it, uh, who are working, who have families, um, and can't pick up and go to campus every day. Uh, so, so this leadership uh, that you've had from the governor and from the state continues with this grant. Um, as I said, it's, it's not only the million dollars, but it's also this recognition and validation uh, that this is the right direction for Indiana Move, uh, and we're very grateful that the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh, gave us the money to be able to make this grant to Indiana. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Well, I think between the governor and Stan, you have a pretty good idea of what we're talking about today, but I just want to make a couple comments on behalf of the commission. You know, all the work that we're doing to improve K-12 education is not to get students just to graduate from high school. It is to get them to continue their path so that they have post-secondary credentials as well. We know that in the next decade, two-thirds of all jobs will need post-secondary credentials. And we're a far cry from having that in Indiana right now. We're really talking about a whole new paradigm in higher education. And it really uh, focuses on many elements, uh, starting with changing demographics in our state and our nation. What used to be considered the traditional student, the person who went off to college and lived there for four years, that's not the way most college students look right now. It's not that we have fewer people going to college, it's just that we have such great growth in the enrollment. So we have more people who are first generation, low income, minority, working. And we need to find new models of higher education that meet the needs of those students. So we have higher enrollments, changing demographics, we have uh, limited resources in all areas, and we have a greater focus at the Commission on issues related to completion, to quality, to affordability, and, um, and really to productivity and efficiency as well. And those are really, it's not that uh, higher education has been intentionally inefficient or unproductive, it's just that it's never been as important as it is right now to be able to meet the needs of these new kinds of students. Um, Right now, the proposal that we have uh, had accepted from Complete College America is really going to give us the opportunity to jumpstart some very important initiatives. Uh, the, really, the redesign of remediation at our community college system. We're going to be looking at new strategies to focus on college success at our regional campuses. Often our regional campuses don't receive the focus that they should. And more and more of our students are actually attending those regional campuses and deserve a quality education as well. Um, so uh, we're delighted to be able to partner with um, higher education colleges and universities with the leadership that's represented here today by the governor, by Complete College America, by um, John Applegate, who is the executive vice president for uh, regional affairs at the university, at Indiana University, and, it's court, and certainly Tom Snyder at Ivy Tech as well. Um, the task is not going to be easy. Moving that needle, just one percentage point in graduation rate is tough. And, uh, but we're very focused on it at the commission. We think the good news is uh, that more than ever, people are focused on higher education. We've doubled the number of students who are going on to college, 
but as uh, the governor and Stan mentioned, we're not getting them to complete at the levels they need to. And in order to do that, we need to reduce the time it takes, which will save money to taxpayers and save money to students and increase the likelihood that they will be successful. It's an important mission, one that we relish, and we look forward to working with our, our colleagues in doing that. I'd like to ask uh, Tom Snyder to make a few comments and John Applegate as well. Thanks, Teresa. So uh, we really appreciate what the Commission on Higher Ed, the team is here today, Teresa Lubbers, going after this grant. It may seem a bit like inside baseball here to talk about remediation. So uh, our provost is here, Mary Ostry. We thought we'd bring it home to you. The governor asked me to pass out a five question math test, all of you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, but that is really the issue. <laughs> the, uh, the issue is here is that every semester, 25,000 students, more than 10% of our students, are in some kind of English or math or writing remediation. 15,000 of those are adult learners, been out of school five years or more. 10,000 of those came to us right out of high school. So they need refreshers. They're not prepared to do college level work. How much money do we spend? We spend about $40 million, 35 to 40 million. Half of that comes from you, the taxpayer. Half of that comes from the student, and the student is borrowing half of that. So the students are borrowing $10 million to take courses for which they are not gonna receive college credit. That's the issue. What do we do today? We put them in four month continuous uh, work on reading or math and it's the national solution and it does not work. So with this money we're going to be able to leverage the one million dollars, the part that comes to us, to really get uh, new methods of doing remediation, to help people do things that are self-paced, to do them in modules, to teach them just enough math to what they need to make sure that they have the English skills to go forward. Uh, it's an important national agenda because the numbers that we have here are multiplied by the numbers clear across the country. So what the governor said is critically important. Indiana, 33% college attainment. The U.S., 38%. That's troubling enough, but Korea and Canada, 60%. If we're going to be competitive in the world market, we're going to have to make some progress. The governor set very stringent performance goals. That's how we're going to get funded in the future. Uh, we're prepared to accept that challenge and uh, we really thank uh, Teresa for the opportunity. John. Thank you. Well, thank you Governor, Commissioner, and thank you to uh, Complete College America uh, for the opportunity to uh, compete for this, uh, for this grant and for the award of it. Uh, Indiana University's regional campuses, I believe, are a, an essential part uh, of the state of Indiana reaching its goals of a uh, significant number of additional uh, high quality uh, baccalaureate master's degrees um, for the future. Uh, degree completion is, for that reason, um, an absolutely top priority, uh, both for the regional campuses as a whole um, and for each individual regional campus of Indiana University. And indeed, um, our recent strategic plan called Blueprint for Student Attainment uh, makes uh, college completion one of our top goals. We've talked a lot, and, uh, uh, and a lot of people have talked a lot, about how, to, uh, how important completion is, uh, how to incentivize it, and how to measure it. What's really great about this grant is that it makes it possible to really start doing the work that will actually improve completion. Uh, from Indiana University's point of view, um, this is developing the kinds of tools of software and other kinds of tools that will allow students and their advisors to map out a successful path forward for them to see how they are making progress, where they need to go. And we have found that that is an essential part of helping students who all students, but certainly students who are struggling in figuring out exactly what they want to do, what helps them to achieve their dreams, um, to figure that out, that this kind of support is going to be essential for that. This is, I guess I'd complete or finish by saying, um, this is really completion the right way. This is completion uh, incentives, this is completion support designed to help students achieve their goals, and that is exactly what we're in the business of doing. So thank you.